everyone this is subhadra aitar quantitative aptitude faculty of yashas academy today we have with us a very special guest who scored 100 in ca foundation quantitative aptitude introducing deepa but hi deepa hi hearty congratulations on scoring 100 in ca foundation exam you know we have never heard any student score this much uh, can you give few tips to the students We'll start with a question. When did you start your preparation? I started my CA foundation preparation in June 2023. I am from science background. Uh, my parents want me to become CA, so I chose a uh, CA and I gave my uh, CA foundation exam in December 2023. So Deepa, you started from June for December examination. Total six months preparation. That's tremendous. I wanted to know how many hours you were studying, which material you used. and how many times revision you did i was studying consistently every day for more than 6 hours like after uh, classes 2 or 3 hours uh, so i used to revise weekly basis on weekly basis uh, so the subjects i faced difficulty was law i tried to study the most important chapters uh, based on the weightage and revise it again and again like Uh, after uh, after first comprehensive uh, comprehensive study i used to do it for a week and then after two weeks i used to again revise and then at least two or three times i used to revise a chapter so that's how i used to study th- the subject uh, coming to maths maths i used to solve a lot many problems by keeping timer uh, so it is very important to keep timer because you will know how much time you are taking to solve a problem and soon that will uh, you know Uh, you it will improve once you start practicing a lot the uh, time will be less as you practice more so and uh, also first time when you study you need to study uh, like practice a lot many questions and then after like few weeks you just have to solve the more important problems or you can go to uh, go on solving trickier problems so that will develop practice and you'll be able to recall and uh, i referred icsi study material and yashis so we were solving a lot many tricky tricky questions in the class itself uh, so yashis material was very helpful and I, when i went back home i used to solve from scanner how many rounds of mock test did you give i gave 5 to 6 mock tests three tests uh, for yashis connected by yashis for maths and uh, in accounts i gave a uh, two mock test paper which was conducted by uh, yashis yes, itself yes. yeah and uh, law i uh, didn't i just prepared for whatever like you know from the books i didn't actually give any mock test for law uh, and economics yes i practiced from icsi study material and mock test conducted by yashis so total how many rounds of revision did you do uh, for a subject i used to revise more than uh, two or three times so that was enough like i studied a chapter then again after one month i used to uh, do the revision yeah, do the revision go through all the important uh, uh, you know uh, the questions and also I, when i used to make the comprehensive study i used to mark like where i'm going wrong i used to Super. like add sticky notes and then mark okay this is one trick and i used to develop my own trick uh, tricks for solving the question so i used to write that down and in the while well, during uh, during the revision i used to go through the sticky notes uh, and solve the important problem had you prepared summary material for every subject uh, uh, so i prepared summary notes my own summary notes for each subject so whatever the teacher used to teach i used to understand the concepts and i used to make my own notes my own understanding so that helped me while revising i used to revise from that and i was able to visualize whatever i had learned uh, while during the comprehensive study whatever i have studied i used to make notes and revise that uh, uh, like two or three times and before the exam go through the same notes uh, is there any examination hall incident that you want to narrate for our audience Yes so uh, in maths uh, I already prepared like I had already practiced a lot many mock test papers so I didn't face any kind of difficulty so I was able to remain cool in the exam uh, although like you know if I was stuck in a sum I used to go back and then I was able to solve it because I had already completed maximum questions so if you solve like all the questions that you know and then come back to those uh, questions that you were stuck you can because you'll be in a cool state of mind because you've already completed the maximum questions so you'll be able to solve it calmly so that's the trick that i applied in uh, exam and uh, in law it is a very lengthy paper so you have to write a lot uh, so i suggest you to basically 
first read the question and understand just uh, just for one minute you can just think about what you're going to write the main points and then you start writing quickly very fast and while solving the questions think clearly like uh, read the question break it down and uh, give like uh, focus on what is being asked and what they want us to answer that's very important so if you interpret it differently or you don't understand what the question is asking you need to think clearly in the exam don't uh, answer it in a very uh, like uh, in a rush because uh, you might make silly mistake so while solving mock test paper i used to make silly mistakes because i was not reading the question properly that i was able to avoid in the exam because of practice thank you so much deepa for coming here and guiding our students regarding your study strategy all the best for your ca intermediate level and hearty congratulations because you have made us proud so hearty congratulations thank you so much ma'am